Princess Isabella, be on the alert for a tidal wave that is heading your way. I repeat, a tidal wave is heading your way. Jameson, we have an emergency. A tidal wave is heading our way. Everyone must get below decks immediately. for the impact of what is being referred to as a massive tidal wave. The tidal wave created by the 10.5 that destroyed most of Los Angeles is predicted to hit the islands within the hour. What do you have for me, Sean? An evacuation plan for Hawaii is in place, Mr. President. Good, good. Looks like they'll be ready when it hits. Yes, sir. Listen to me. Keep those field offices open 24-7. Nobody sleeps until this crisis is over. You got that? Eastern Washington State's reporting rolling quakes. Washington State? Activity is about one kilometer below the surface. Tremors are shallow, coming in about every 30 seconds, between 1.4 and 2.3. Quakes is warming. Where's the epicenter? Bouncing huts. You're all with the President, Dr. Hill. Mr. President, this is Dr. Hill. Thank goodness you're all right, Dr. Hill. You had me worried. Yeah, it's uh, it's good to hear your voice too, sir. I look forward to the day we can finally meet in person. Hopefully under more favorable circumstances. I like that. It's been a hell of a ride for all of us. How's Dr. Fisher? We're relieved it's over. I'm afraid it isn't, Samantha. I don't know what kind of news you're still getting out there. But Mount St. Helens has erupted again. Mount St. Helens? Less than an hour ago. The USGS is also tracking signs of significant seismic and volcanic activity in Idaho, Utah, and the Wyoming area. You're talking about an area that's over a thousand miles. I know. If you're up to it, I want to fly both of you to Denver to head a USGS task force to look into this new development. This country already owes both of you an enormous debt for your extraordinary work during the West Coast crisis. I hate to ask even more, but we need to stay on top of this situation. Of course, sir. I understand. 
You and Dr. Fisher will be picked up within the hour. We'll be ready. I have complete faith in the both of you. I hope we can live up to your confidence, Mr. President. I'm sure you will. It's not over. Even with the complete devastation of Waikiki and the island's other coastal areas, reports remain encouraging that the massive evacuation has been a success. We're managing situations in Seattle, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and now Hawaii. I'm aware of that, Mrs. Warner, but we have no choice. We must be prepared to splinter off resources on an as-needed basis. I understand, sir. What options do we have? Well, there is potentially another resource. And what is that? It's something Roy Nolan and I have been organizing for the past year or so, just in case this kind of catastrophic scenario should occur. But it, it's, um... Mrs. Warner, are you going to tell me what it is or not? I, I'm sorry, sir. It's just that we've never actually put this plan into action before. Essentially, it's a loose network of civilian volunteer rescue teams. Many of them untested in real-life situations like this, but all from qualified police, fire, or civilian backgrounds. Is this a viable alternative? It's something Mr. Nolan had a lot of faith in, sir. Roy. Roy always did believe trying situations bring out the best in people. I know you and Mr. Nolan were close. And remembering his selfless actions during those final hours. Yes, indeed. Let's put Roy's plan into action, shall we? Let's, Mr. President. The entire country remains on edge as this unrelenting string of natural disasters continues to plague the nation. The question on everyone's mind seems to be, when will it all end? The enormous rescue and cleanup effort underway in Los Angeles continues. Come on, Laura. Local get going. Local authorities desperately struggling to manage the nearly impossible situation. Reports of mass casualties continue to flood in, increasing the already staggering toll. Despite repeated assurances from local and federal authorities, widespread panic has begun to flare throughout the area. <clears throat> God, you're beautiful. You know that? Thank you. Big surprise. Hmm? Even with the complete devastation hey, well. of Waikiki and the island's other coastal areas, reports remain encouraging that the mass hey. evacuation has been a success. Yes. Well. <laughs> what? Where are you at, little brother? <clears throat> well. Uh, I'm up here, Brad. I'll be down in a minute. Thought you were gonna speak to your brother about barging into our house like this. I did. Yeah. Yes, I did. Hey. Hey, man. FEMA call. They're activating all the reserve rescue teams. We gotta be in Salt Lake by six tonight for some sort of orientation. For real? Yeah, they're bringing in guys from all over the country. They want all the teams in place just in case something else goes down. Another disaster. I don't know. They didn't say. They just said to get rolling. Hey. You're up for this, aren't you, little brother? Yeah, yeah, but, uh... Um... Well, I'm ready to go. Yeah, right. my rig's all packed up. Let's get cracking. Hey! Hi, Laura. How you doing? Hi, Brad. Hey, uh, FEMA just called. I guess they needed everyone who signed up. <laughs> signed up for what? Um, uh, you know, the reserve rescue team, I told you. No, all you said was you were training with the guys. Well, hopefully it'll only be for, you know, a day or two. 
I promise you come with me to Flagstaff, Will. With everything going on, my parents are scared to death. I, I know. Okay, look, I'm sure they're going to be okay without us for a little longer. Are you coming with me or not? Can't this wait a couple of days? No. What's that supposed to mean? I just wish you'd fill me in on your plans once all right, in a while. All right, hey, Laura. Now, come on, come back here. Bye, Laura. Hey, Laura, Laura. Here, she'll be fine. You can't expect her to understand everything we're doing, man. I'll go pack your stuff. Local and state authorities are completely overwhelmed by the scope and extent of the destruction. FEMA and other organizations have pledged assistance, but with the ongoing crises in Sun Valley, Monument Valley, Hawaii... And Los Mike's Angeles, coordinating transportation for all the field commanders. Talk to him. Will do. Thanks, Mrs. Warner. Good luck. Can I have a minute? I was wondering how long it would take for you to get over here. I'm ready to go out in the field again. Natalie, I know you want this. Anyone else in this organization, you wouldn't think twice about giving me another command right now. You need everybody you can get. You're right, I do. I am over the Clearfield accident. Are you? You've been beating yourself up over that for nearly a year now. Two FEMA personnel died during that rescue operation. I was the one in charge. I have to live with that every single day. You have to live with the fact that accidents happen. And you don't just get up and quit because of it. I'm not going to walk away from my command. Are you sure? A hundred percent sure. When you make a decision, you live with the consequences. No matter how things turn out. I know. I'm not here to pull strings for you, Natalie. I need to do this for me. You have to give me a chance. Please. I can do this. Make me proud, baby. Count on it, Mom. Call me when you get there. First thing. Thank you. Gina, Thank you. The three of us will be working closely with you. Anything you need, anything at all, just, just ask us. What's the update on Mount St. Hills? We're not tracking any further signs of activity. Are you sure? Yeah, the eruptions seem to have stopped, just like that. This doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. There's something we're missing here. But what? out of Sun Valley, Idaho. How frequent? Breaking every 50 seconds. No, every 45 seconds. Narrow it down. They're up. Bald Mountain, that's an extinct volcano. Not anymore. It's venting. It's going to erupt. Call the NOAA. Issue an emergency warning to Sun Valley. Come on.
A volcano previously thought to be extinct erupted this morning, devastating the Idaho towns of Ketchum, Sun Valley, and... I need to know we're doing everything in our power to help those survivors. I believe we are, sir. We've deployed rescue crews in Ketchum, Sun Valley, Haley, and some of the outlying areas. How are those volunteer crews working out? So far, so good. We've had almost 100% compliance. They'll be working side by side along with seasoned rescue and response workers, and we've got some of our best field commanders in the area to oversee the operation. Including your daughter, I understand. Yes, Natalie. Not an easy assignment for a mother to make. No, sir. Although her eagerness to be where the action is left me with few, if any, options. Our country is indebted to everyone involved in this rescue mission. Thank you, Mr. President. Is there anything else I can do to assist you, Mrs. Warner? Wish us luck. With all my heart. In Sun Valley, thousands of casualties have already been confirmed, with many more missing or unaccounted for. Led by FEMA personnel, local and state rescue teams are pouring into the stricken areas. I need to put pressure on this wound right now. Put those down. Come on. Give me your hands. Come here. Come on. There you go. Hold that right there. What's your name? Huh? Your name? You got a name, don't you? Amy. You're doing good, Amy. Hold that there. All right. That's it. One more. Watch out. There we go. That's it. We're done. Hey, you can let go now. You all right? Yeah. You did great. Thanks. Hey, you need to get this woman to the field hospital. Come on, let's go. Back it up. Back it up. Clock's ticking, people. Come on. Yes, sir. Alex Becker? Yeah, what do you need? Natalie Warner. I've been assigned to run this operation with you. Right. Well, what are you doing? Come on, now back it up. Because you gave up field work. You 
have a problem with me being here? My problem is, Warner, is I've got hundreds of families trapped out there. My mission is to save as many lives as possible, and I don't want anyone getting in the way of that. I wasn't planning on getting in the way. I'm here to work with you. If you can't do that, I'll run this operation alone, okay? Come on, guys, let's go! Let's go, unload that truck, come on! Let's get going! Has it here, got it! In Sun Valley, the only way for volcanic gas to reach the surface is for it to punch through the plate, creating a hot spot volcano. It takes an incredible amount of force to do this. Force, I suspect, that was generated by the ongoing earthquake storm that began on the West Coast three days ago. Dr. Hill, are you saying the 10.5 in California was only part of this earthquake storm and not an isolated event? Are you saying there's a connection between these events? That's my suspicion. It's possible the disruptions were so intense and generated so much heat that they created new fracture and stress zones under the entire Western United States. If so, the whole region is in jeopardy. Excuse me, Dr. Hill, Dr. Fisher, we've got quake swarms coming out of Kings Peak, Utah. Okay. Are we tracking any signs of pre-activity? No, nothing. We've got side-to-side -side compression waves. They're buffeting the entire area. It looks like general activity is about a kilometer below the surface. Frequency? About every 45 seconds. Uh, no, make that 30 seconds. Scale, Gina? Fluctuating between 1.8 and 2.2. Pull up our Landsat satellite image. Can you see a thermal overlay? Mm -hmm. Something is definitely going on well below the surface. The question is what? units into four squads of six men each. Each squad is responsible for covering an at-risk zone within Sun Valley. One canine handler will accompany each squad and help to cover that zone. Transports will travel you as close as possible to your area. Once there, you'll split your squads into teams. Two men apiece, nobody goes out alone. Excuse me. Yes. Who decides on the squads? I do, once we're on site. Now, when you locate survivors trapped beneath multiple layers of concrete or other building material, do not go in after them. I repeat, do not go in after them. These sites are very volatile. They need to be delayered piece by piece. For that, we have a team of engineers with expertise in evaluating, shoring up, breaching, bracing, and lifting structural components. We'll alert them and send them out to UASAP. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There are four major locations in the area to investigate. Powder Crest Ski Lodge, the Town Shopping Plaza, the... the Mountain Glen Inn and the Tree Line Condominiums, all of which collapsed due to massive tremors when the volcano blew its top. There's a lot of hazards out there, people. Everything from exposed electrical wiring and broken gas mains to poisonous fumes caused by the underlying volcanic activity. Be extremely careful. Rely on your partner. The only way you're going to survive this is by depending on the guy standing right next to you. So let's get out there and get it done. Hey, don't you ever cut me off again like that. You do your homework and I won't have to. My homework? The clock is ticking, Miss Warner. Those guys have to get out there, and they have to get out there now. Remember what you said about depending on the guy right next to you? Absolutely. Take a good look. It's me. So, how are you doing, baby? I'm okay, Mom. You don't sound okay. Alec Becker isn't the easiest person to work with. I don't think he likes me very much. I'm not surprised. Why is that? One of his cousins was involved in the Clearfield rescue operation you oversaw. He was in the mine when it collapsed. Mom, why didn't you tell me this before? Didn't want to scare you off. No wonder he hates my guts. He's a professional, Natalie. He can keep his feelings out of this. I gotta go. What's our status? Minor crank swarms are still coming in between 1.8 and 2.4. No, hold on, we've got spiking 3.1, 3.3, back down at 2.2. We're not seeing any visible signs of surface activity yet. Wait, what's that? Look closely at the western flank, below the peak. What do you think that is? Could you take us closer? Is 
Sam, look! We got some heavy deforestation happening. Is that usual for this area? No, it's not. Gina, could you retrieve a stored Landsat image of King's Peak? How far back do you want to go? Six hours should do it. What's on your mind, Sam? Just a thought. Uh-huh. Here we go, Dr. Hill. Landsat snapped this exactly six hours and 15 seconds ago. It should be coming up on your remote display right now. That's impossible. Deforestation can't happen that fast. Not in a span of six hours. Six hours. Bring up a real-time image. Add in a thermal overlay. Coming up. There's your answer. Massive magnetic flow underground is killing off the root system. see how you're doing out there. Oh, Mom, are you on too? I hear you okay? <sighs> yes, Mom, I'm fine. You know, Amy, if things get too dangerous, you can always come home. Mom, believe it or not, the Red Cross needs me here. Besides, we already decided that I do this for a year and then I go back to school. Yeah, we did. You're right. Yeah, and it's only been three months. I, I know, but that was before they all. They actually needed me? Of course they need you, Amy. We know they need you. I'm not leaving. I'm not asking you to come home. Why do I always feel like you guys are just waiting around for me to come running home with my tail between my legs? Why can't you Amy. have some, some faith in me? I, I can be a lot more than just be the president's daughter. I, I can take care of myself. I know that. Amy, I do have faith in you. Dad, can you please tell the Secret Service to stop following me around? It makes me feel like a freak. You know, we've had this discussion before. Well, they said they need your permission to do that. Do you know what you're asking me to do, Amy? Yes, Dad, I do. No, I don't think you do, no. It's... Yeah, Amy, you're not seeing it from where I sit. I'm the President of the United States. I'm also your father. There's a certain protocol that I have to follow. So, please? Okay, I'll tell them to keep their distance. Thank you. Thank you. Don't worry about me. I'm going to be fine, you see. I know you're going to be okay. Okay. I have to get back to work. All right, sweetie. We love you, Amy. I love you, too. Both of you. Okay. Hi, Mom. Bye, Dad. Bye, honey. Keep up the good work now. Stay safe. Shogo. Shogo. Hey, Shogo. Shogo. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, whoa. Hey. Whoa. 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 Hey. Yo. Whoa. Hey, Shogo.
Areas of the southwest are reporting unusual movement of groundwater with actual flooding in Monument Valley. Low-lying areas are seeing water levels reaching as high as 10 feet and washing away roads. We have a lot of confused and very frightened people out there, Dr. Fisher. I understand that, sir. Good, then please tell me what the hell is going on. As you may or may not know, the entire Four Corners area, including Monument Valley, sits atop one of the nation's largest underground aquifers. I'm only vaguely aware of that, Doctor. This particular aquifer is comprised primarily of sandstone. The hydraulic conductivity of sandstone aquifers is low to moderate, but because they extend over large areas, they provide large amounts of water. A lot of water. How much water are you talking about? By some estimates, out of the Four Corners area. Enough to fill Lake Michigan. Are you telling me all this water is going to come to the surface? What I can tell you is that magmatic activity under the surface is heating up the sandstone, causing some of the water to percolate up out of the ground. And what's causing that? Subsurface ground temperatures under the Monument Valley area have increased dramatically in the last 24 hours, in some places by as much as 85 degrees. I understand that, Dr. Fisher. But how does this relate to the 10.5 in California or the eruptions on Mount St. Helen or in Sun Valley? Something must be at the root of all of this. I believe it's the movement of the plates themselves, Mr. President. Dr. Hill. Yes. Sorry I'm late. I was putting together some last-minute materials for this presentation. I hope you have some answers for us. I believe I do. Take a look. These plates, which are essentially massive sections of the Earth's rigid crust, are in a constant state of movement. Over millions of years, they drift apart, come together, and drift apart again. It's this constant movement that is the source of all seismic disturbance. When one plate pushes up against another, the friction causes earthquakes, mountain building, volcanic activity, and so on. I'm with you so far, Dr. Hill. Close to 300 million years ago, all of the plates were joined together in a single supercontinent known as Pangaea. Over hundreds of millions of years, these plates have slowly drifted apart, forming the current world geography that we all recognize. What exactly does this have to do with our current situation? Everything. I'm starting to think that the plates have now reached their maximum point of separation and are beginning to reverse direction once again. As the plates continue to move, we could see an escalating series of events. Quakes, volcanoes, massive sinkholes, gaseous explosions, flooding, rapid weather change, and other anomalies. This sounds more like the coming of the apocalypse than a scientific conclusion. For all intents and purposes, Mr. President, that's exactly what it could turn out to be. Rescue teams in Sun Valley continue to work 24 hours a day to pull victims from the rubble. There are now over 1,200 confirmed casualties, including nearly a dozen firefighters that have perished in the rescue operation. This is base, squad one. Squad one has a man down. Can we send a medical unit over to the tree line condominiums immediately? Squad three, we will have a team of engineers sent over to you as soon as possible. <laughs> Will, can you hear me? Laura? Where are you? I'm nearly halfway to Flagstaff. What's all that noise? I'm riding in the back of a truck. We're headed to another rescue site. I've been watching the news. It looks pretty bad out there. What? I said it looks bad up there. Laura, I can't. I can't hear a thing. All right. Okay. Hey, uh, I'll let you go. I just... No, wait, wait. Don't. Don't hang up. I'm sorry. I really am. I, I wish I was with you. <sighs> so do I. Sorry I left the way I did. I don't know, no kiss? That's a first. I'm just tired of watching you act so small around your brother. You turn into a different person, Will. What, what are you talking about? I'm talking about how he controls your life. Our life. Half the time I don't know whether you're coming or going. Laura, hey, Laura, can we not get into this right now? It's right there, isn't it? No, no. We, we gotta get it on. Let's go. We're headed out, that's all. I'll call you tomorrow. There is traffic balls everywhere, and there's just a state of pandemonium outside. Whoa, Sam, wait up. Even if you're right about the reversal of the plates, and I'm not sure you are, we're talking about a geologic process that normally takes millions of years to occur, and you're suggesting that it happens overnight, All right? I have a theory about that. Well, when are you going to spring this one on me? Jordan, I'm sorry if I caught you off guard. I just thought it was important to present. Understand what we're up against. I understand the urgency here, Sam, but you got to keep me in the loop, okay? How am I supposed to help you if you don't tell me what we're talking about? It's something my father was working on before he retired from the USGS. Your father? Earl? This ought to be interesting.
I knew you'd react like that. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> look, sorry, but your father's famous for championing some fairly unorthodox ideas. I know. Seriously, Sam, he makes you look mainstream. I'm the first to admit some of his theories were pretty speculative. And I know by the end of his career, he was alienated from the scientific community. But that doesn't mean all of his ideas are without merit. I think you, of all people, would be open to that. Look, Sam, I'm sorry. I'm here to help you any way I can. You know that. One, three, are you asking for backup right now? Yes, we definitely need backup on this one. We got a lot of land to get through. Team 12, go immediately to the... Over here! Over here, over here. Where'd he go? I found something. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Turn the light detector, Will. Yeah. I know he definitely has a scent of somebody down there. Survivor buried under the mountain inn. Requesting assistance? This is base. We'll get some people over there as soon as we can. Do you want me to stay with this truck, Travel? The negative. Squad 5 has requested canine assistance. Head over there. Will do. Okay. Back up on this way. Okay. In 1983, my father came up with a theory he called accelerator plate movement, or APM. I think it explains a lot about what's going on. I don't remember hearing about that one. He never published it. The theory essentially argues that when the Earth's plates reverse direction, as I suspect they're doing right now, geologic processes are greatly accelerated. Accelerated? Mm hmm If his theory is correct, that would explain the phenomena we're seeing. You know, the rapid deforestation, volcano building, flooding, quakes. How did he come up with this theory? I'm researching it right now. His writings were pretty sketchy on the subject. Maybe you need to talk to him about it. You know how he gets when I try to talk to him about his work. All he can do is try. job is to keep this elevated, okay? Okay. Okay. Oh, Jesus, sorry. Amy, hi. Hi. Hi, uh, Dr. Garcia. Call me Miguel, please. Dr. Garcia? Thank you. How's it going? Well, it could be better. We're a little shorthanded on support staff right now. Hey, you interested? Oh, gosh. I, I'm not qualified, am I? What are you talking about? You already passed the test. I did? Yeah, today in the field. I still can't believe I did that. It was so, um, tense. Well, I knew you could handle it. <laughs> you did? Yeah, I got this instinct about people. You know, who can handle tough situations, who can't. Thank you. So is that a yes? Yeah, yeah. Good, report to the field hospital. We'll get you started. Okay. Um, can I just talk to you about something? What is it? Yeah, I'll be right there. What is it? I just, I, I really don't want to be treated any differently than anybody else. Well, don't you worry, Amy Hollister. I'm going to treat you just as badly as I treat the rest of the staff, okay? Great. Thanks. I mean, uh, you know what I mean. Yes, I do. I'll see you later. Okay. 
Come on, we'll give me a hand. Ready, one, two, two three. Help me. I'm down here. All right. We're going to be right there, okay? Where's our backup? Hey, this is Team 12. Where the hell is our backup? They're on their way. They'll be there momentarily. Squad 4, Team 12 has requested backup. Where the hell are you? Uh, this is taking way too long. This guy's never going to make it. Hey, just take it easy, buddy, okay? There's got to be another way around. Here, you look here. I'm going around this side. Let go of this rope. No, Brad, this is crazy, man. Wait for backup. Fine. This guy is not gonna die on me, okay? He will not die on me. Hold on to that thing. Brad, where are you at? I'm still trying to get through here. It's pretty tight. It's really tight. I see him, I see him! Can you reach him? I don't know. There's a lot of debris in the way. Brad? Brad, talk to me! Brad! 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 Come on, Brad. Yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. Oh. Okay. Brad, what's happening? I got our guy. How's he doing? He's trapped under a beam. He's having trouble breathing. I'm gonna see if I can move him toward me and touch and take some of the pressure off his chest. Okay. I'm gonna grab you by your arms, okay? Uh -huh. slide you out. Tell me if anything catches. You all right? Get us out of here! Well, come on! Hey, over here! Okay, what do you mean? Let's go, let's go! You all right? All right, pull! Pull!
30,000. Cool. Seventy thousand. I'm all in one seventy. seen your name a lot in the news lately. I was going to call you, but I figured you had your hands full. Mm -hmm. You still out in California dealing with that deadly 10-5 they had out there? Uh, no, actually, I'm in uh, Colorado doing some work for the USGS. The USGS? <laughs> what are you doing with those scoundrels? That's why I'm calling, Dad. Uh, I, need, I need some advice. Yeah, well, get out. Or you still have a soul. That's my advice, Sam. Dad, um... I need you to listen for a minute. Look, I don't have anything to do with the USGS anymore. You know that. I know you don't. Those days are long gone for me. There's something I have to ask you about. Sam, what's this about? It looks like we're headed for more trouble. And I thought you might be able to help me figure something out. Huh. Me? I don't know anything about what's going on. Do you remember the accelerated plate movement theory you came up with a few years back? You nicknamed it APM. Sam, I don't do this anymore. I think it's happening. Dad, you still there? Sam, listen to me. I don't want you going, messing around with any of my old crazy ideas. It's gonna bring you nothing but heartache. Dad, there are some points I don't understand, and I Will you listen to me? You're doing very well without me, Sam. You don't need to screw things up by getting involved with this, you understand? Dad, please. No. Please, just... Listen for a second. I gotta go. Dad, wait. Damn it. One of you guys is Brad Malloy. I am. What's going on out there? What are we talking about? You're the guy who pulled off that rescue by crawling through the wreckage of the Mountain Glen Inn, right? Yes, sir. That was me. It's you deaf or just stupid? What? I know you and your brother are relatively inexperienced, like a lot of the guys out there, but that's no excuse for what you did. I called for backup. Nobody showed up. What was I supposed to do? You were supposed to wait, like I told you. They were on their way. I thought I made that crystal clear to you guys before I sent you out there. That guy was dying. So your brilliant idea was to crawl into the wreckage and die with him. I saved his life. You were lucky. You were very, very lucky. Are you aware of the rescue to victim mortality ratio? No. Because the number of rescue workers who die in the act of trying to save a person in comparison to the number of people who are actually saved. You follow me? Yeah. So in an urban search and rescue operation like ours, the mortality rate can be as high as 2.2 rescue workers dead for every person saved by guys like you. A big part of my job is to make sure we do a hell of a lot better than that. I thought my job here was to save other people's lives, not my own. But you're not looking at the big picture, Brad. I only have so many rescue workers out here. If you had died due to your idiotic attempt out there, how many people still trapped would then die because you weren't around to save them? Did you ever think of that? No, I did not. No, you did not. So the next time you want to attempt a high-risk rescue, you damn well clear it through me. I'm the one who decides where we take risks, when and why, not you. And if you can't do that, you can pack up your gear and get the hell out of here. And you, you should have kept your brother from doing something so stupid. Just get the hell out of here, both of you. Do some good. Now what, you're gonna tell me how I could have handled that better? Less anger, fewer insults. That's about it. Yeah, right. But someday, Brad Malloy is going to thank you for saving his life. That guy's a 
jerk, man. Hey, it's easy to sit there and say things like, you know, wait for backup when you're sitting behind a desk. He wasn't out there with us. He didn't hear that guy's voice telling us that he couldn't breathe. That dude would have died if I didn't call in there and save him. Maybe. I don't know. What? You think I did the wrong thing, too? I didn't say that. No, but you're thinking it. I can see it written all over your face. Why don't you say it, then? Why don't you say it, then, Will? OK. You were wrong. Oh, man, I can't believe you wouldn't even think hey, that. Why do you always feel like you have to prove something to everybody? You can't be a hero in every situation. Is that what you think I'm doing? Showing off? Are you? Man, you don't know squat about what goes on inside my head. Hey, the man was right, right? It was a reckless thing to do, and you know it. Why can't you grow up and admit it for once? Hey, why don't you start making your own choices in your life? Then you don't have to worry so much about mine. What's that supposed to mean? Think about it, OK? I become a fireman, you become a fireman. I join the FEMA unit, you join the FEMA unit. Do you see a pattern there? I made those choices, Brad. I can't help that you're older than me, and you got there first. Is that all there is to it? Believe me, man. Sometimes I wish that you were the one doing something else with your life. It's not always easy being Brad the man's little brother. I'm not trying to compete with you, OK? I'm just doing this job the way I think it should be done. That's all. Hey, so am I. Dr. Hill, we're tracking harmonic trimmers underneath the Lake Mead Recreation Area in Arizona. I think you better take a look. Lake Mead? Jordan, where are we at? The lakes are shallow, fluctuating between 2.4 and 3.3. Duration? They're swarming about every 45 seconds, and they're closing in on the 35 second mark. Ian, bring up an overlay. Coming up. We had signs of magmatic activity on the entire area. Bring us in closer, please. We're at full resolution. We need to get a better look at this. There's too much surface interference. I'm going to fly out there and see what's going on. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with Sam, you're needed here. We can't both go. Look, I'll be in contact the entire time. Jordan. I'm going to go. over a sinkhole right now which has just appeared right in the middle of the highway but this is only one of many to have popped up suddenly like this over the last few hours the highway patrol is just desperately trying to clear out this backlog of traffic but it is jammed solid in both directions uh, just as far as the eye can see here oh my gosh oh no uh, as we are live on the air, the sinkhole that we are flying over is opening up. This thing is moving, and it looks like people are now abandoning their cars. They are abandoning their cars. They are running in a panic as the ground below them is just giving way. Uh, cars, whole cars, are falling into the sinkhole. Uh, pieces of the ground are just falling away. This is unbelievable, unlike anything we have ever seen. Just one second. I don't know if you can hear us, but it seems like the movement. Look at this. Look at sinkholes opening up all over the place. And the dust is now starting to clear. The site down here is just awful. There are a number of vehicles in that sinkhole, and, and all we can hope for is that those people are not trapped down there. I'm coming up over the Colorado right now. How's my signal? It's good. There's a lot of movement on the surface of the river. What's the median speed of the current in this stretch? Between 1.7 to 3.3 miles per hour. It fluctuates depending on Hoover Dam's overflow.
I'm tracking it at 7.4 miles an hour right now. Are you sure? Positive. I'm seeing white caps down there. Call operations at Hoover Dam, find out what's going on, what their overflow rate is. Come on up. Something's definitely not right here. Water temperature is increasing rapidly, fluctuating between 88.4 and 91.3 degrees. What's the norm this time of year? Between 42 and 56 degrees. You're close to twice that. Sam, I did a little research on Earl's APM theory. Rapid increase in ground temperature is a key indicator of acceleration. Are you telling me you agree with my father's theory? I don't agree or disagree. I'm saying the signs are there. It's going to take a lot more work to interpret them. But you think it's a possibility? I think I'm running out of explanations here. The dangerous rescue effort in Sun Valley continues to claim lives as exhausted teams work round the clock to pull people from the rock. Volcanologists continue to debate whether another eruption is on the immediate horizon. Several theories are attempting to explain the sudden surge of volcanic activity plaguing the entire area. Well, well, yeah. Sorry about going off on you like that, man. I didn't mean any of that. Yes, you did. Oh, man, you know I love you. Give me a kiss. Give me a, give me a kiss, would you? Would you? All right, all right. All right? All right, all right. <laughs> OK. Oh, oh. OK, no, no, no. <laughs> Come on, guys, let's go. We're done. <laughs> all right, let's go. Oh, Boss, put this stuff up on the truck. Let's go, Boss. The situation in Los Angeles is still using up a lot of resources, Mr. President. What about Hawaii? The evacuation went much better than expected. We should be able to pull some people out of there in the next couple of days. No, we need those people in position now. I've already put out the alert, sir. What about Sun Valley, Monument Valley? Where are we with those situations? We're holding our own, but we can't pull anyone out just yet. Our volunteer crews are doing an excellent job there, sir. How's Amy doing? She's doing extremely well, sir. <laughs> I'll pass it along to Megan. Thank you. Of course, Mr. President. Coming up over the Hoover Dam now. Water temperature is increasing rapidly. 92.7, 95.7, 98.4. 102.9, 105.5, 108.1, still rising. I'm going to do some more readings on the other side of the dam. Here we go, I'm flying up over Highway 93 right now. Oh no. What? The water's already rising over the spillway. It looks like they stuffed all the traffic. I'm going to do some more readings over the water. I'm picking up lots of temperature fluctuations on this side. It's getting a lot hotter. 122.3. No, 125.5. Climbing fast. Jeez, it's hot down there. I don't believe it. What is it, Jordan? The groundwater under Lake Mead's rising to the surface. We've got another Monument Valley on our hands. It's going to flood! They need to start dumping more water right now. It's still flooding. I just spoke to Hoover Dam's operations center. They're releasing the overflow at full capacity. Jordan, they can't dump it any faster. They issue an evacuation warning to all the areas along the lower Colorado. I don't know if the dam can hold up much longer. I'm going to go check it out. It's like Niagara Falls out there. Jordan, there's nothing where you can just get out of there. Jordan, get out of there. Go, go, go.
Oh my god. Oh my god. Jordan. Dr. Jordan Fisher, who was heading up a presidential task force on the seismic activity that has shaken the West, was reportedly killed when a helicopter he was riding in was destroyed during the Hoover Dam collapse. US 93, the main... Dr. Hill? Yeah. It's the president. Thank you. Hello. How are you holding up, Samantha? I'm not sure I can still do this. I can understand why you might feel that way. It's a losing battle, Mr. President. Only if you give up. There must be somebody else. The entire country is counting on us. I can't tell them we've lost the fight, that we've given up any hope of surviving this. No. It's not an option. Mr. President, I honestly don't know what to tell you. Tell me you'll stand beside me in this crisis. There's no one else with your knowledge of the current situation. I'll do my best. You always do. US 93, the main thoroughfare between Las Vegas and Flagstaff has been shut down due to the collapse of the Hoover Dam. The stretch of highway has been... Come on, Laura, pick up. ...when the dam overflowed. All civilian medical personnel in the area are asked to please join in the relief effort. Will! Laura! Laura, are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, did you hear the news? Yeah, yeah, I just did. Where are you now? Um, I'm in Vegas at the Atlas Casino. Another hour I would have been on that roadway, Well, I know, I know. Thank God you're okay. All right, I'm coming down there. Well, all the roads in and out are jammed. Well, I'll find a way. I never should have let you go down there by yourself. No. What are you saying? No, those people need you up there. You need me too, Laura. Well, I'm okay. You sure? I'm okay. Look, they're bringing in the survivors from the Hoover Dam disaster. They're shorthanded. I'm gonna stay. See if I can help out around here. I'm a registered nurse. I can't turn my back on this. Okay, okay. Just be careful, please. I will. I love you. I love you too. By yourself? Yeah. Is she gonna be okay? I don't know. 
One thing's for sure, she wouldn't last much longer out there. Let's go, let's get it going! In the wake of the Hoover Dam disaster, flash floods struck the communities of Kingman, Laughlin, Lake Havasu, and Yuma, Arizona. A wall of water reaching several hundred feet high tore through the area, destroying homes and businesses. Over 20, uh, well, dead and missing. Uh, you can sit playing poker when all hell's breaking loose. What's going to happen is going to happen, Jackson. Nothing I can do about it. Guess that's one way of looking at it. Don't mind telling you, though, this whole thing's got me rattled. Feel it. Feel what? I don't know. It's probably nothing. Keep my drink cold for a minute, will you? I'll be right back. You got it, man. Excuse me, Dr. Hill. I finished those simulations you wanted. I, I think you should see these right away. Right, of course. I posted the results on the server so we can access them from here. Using the calculations you gave me, I started with the initial Seattle event 93 hours ago. Next, I entered the intervals between each subsequent event. Now, this was done using a time scale converting hours into seconds. Oh. The events are occurring diminishing intervals that's right using random locations in the western and central region i extrapolated forward into the next 48 hours are you sure this is right i input the data three times just to be certain how probable is this threat dr hill it's continuing to become more and more of a reality as the plates reverse direction how so Ancient fracture zones and stress points are being reawakened in the entire central and western United States. Some of these will develop into new fault lines or cracks in the Earth's crust. What exactly are we facing here? Best case scenario is a string of more catastrophic quakes and volcanic eruptions throughout these regions. And the worst? 
My team put together a simulation. I think you should take a look at it. Let's see it. 60 million years ago, the entire central plain of the North American continent was home to a vast sea that connected the Arctic Ocean with the Gulf of Mexico. It wasn't until the end of the Cretaceous period that the sprawling North-South Seaway began to recede. The extensive marine fossil record in the Great Plains is clear proof of its existence. What are you getting at, Doctor? If a new divergent fault line opens up in the Midwest, spreading north and south, this ancient seaway will reestablish itself. Reestablish itself? The entire Midwest, most of which is barely above sea level, will flood and literally cut the North American continent in half. My God! Do you know what you're suggesting here? Unfortunately, I do, sir. The geography of North America could be changed beyond all recognition. Rescue crews continue to work frantically to evacuate survivors from towns along the Nevada-California border after the collapse of the Hoover Dam. Authorities are asking everyone to stay where they are. Dr. Hill, it's your father. Father? He says it's urgent. Hatch him in. Sam, I'm inside the Atlas Casino in Vegas. I think we're in trouble here. We've got tremors. Gina, bring up satellite of the Las Vegas area. Thermal, infrared, and spectral. Tremors are hitting about every 15 seconds. I can just start to feel them. We're not picking up anything yet. Of course not. You're staring at a bunch of machines. You're not feeling it, Sam. You're not feeling it in your bones. Look, grab webcam images if you have to. I need to see what's going on there. We've got quake swarms out of the Las Vegas area, ranging between 1.3 and 1.5. We're going to be hit by another one. Just a few seconds. Oh, it's escalating. Range sliding upwards, 2.3. Listen to me, Sam, we don't have a lot of time here. I found sulfur in the water, highly acidic. Magmatic flow contaminated the aquifer? I think it did more than that. Remember that time you went out with me to West Florida to check out those sinkholes? You must have been nine or 10. They had a lot of acid rain that year. And it ate away at the limestone aquifer underneath the whole area. Lots of houses disappeared into those sinks. I thought it was the most amazing thing ever. Oh yeah, sure you did, until you fell in one. Boy, was your mother pissed at me. You, you think the aquifer under Las Vegas has been compromised? Look, the whole city is sitting on a crumbling slab of Swiss cheese by now. That's what's causing all the tremors. Oh, hell. Tremors are increasing, 5.6, 6.4. Dad, 